Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. Uh, if you're joining us on YouTube, you can see us. Hello. Uh, so you can see that I am joined by Brad. Yo. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. We are also joined by Noisy Aircon. Yeah. Oh, and I turned it off. It just made a noise. Oh, right, yeah. yeah no, that's intro. right. Your aircon coughs. Um, <laughs> At four in the morning. Yes. It's a, it's, it's a loud, it's a loud aircon. I can't hear it from my room. We won't be able to do day podcasts anymore because then it won't be four in the morning. Oh no! Wait, well it is. It is dark out. You just have to trust us. Sometimes there's the solar eclipse. Don't yeah. fact check us. <laughs> Specifically localized over this apartment. Yep. Yep. That's the thing that happens. Um. So how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Brag because I feel like it'll be brief. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be brief. I haven't played since the disastrous one uh, K tournament. Which I don't. We never even covered. So like, how's we how's that month it. been? Video is on my channel. Yeah, it doesn't yes. go well for Brag. Yeah, um, it's a bit of a mess. Um, some people have called him out, but in fairness, you were still coming to terms with how the deck worked. Yeah. Um, at the event, I don't think I cheated against Josh. So let us like let it be known that I'm pretty glad I lost, just in case I did cheat against him. Let it be known that because it's Josh, we don't care. Yeah. <laughs> it. It was a rough time, but like I do still really like the deck. Um, I don't. I'm not sure there's much I would change or I need to like. I just need to get used to it. And just need to like get in the habit of playing the game again. There's that, and it changes again once Brave comes out because you just set up in the gate and then play anyway. I do think I'm going to pivot to Brave Sword Solo <gasps> or Brave Tanya. But Brave PK. Yeah, Brave PK is pretty good. It's been hit in the OCG specifically because Brave PK is so good. Yeah. Yeah, being able to set up the traps to be able to block, like, Dark Ruler and stuff like that, I feel like, is why that deck specifically yeah. got a big whack. But yeah, it's just, there's a lot of decks coming out that I find really cool and interesting, so I'm back in. Very nice. I like to hear it. Ben? I didn't get to play it all this week. Well, since the last podcast. Yeah, you've been busy working. Doing things. Yeah, doing job. Well, actually, you had the opportunity to play tonight, but you decided to watch men uh, tackle each other. Fighting with a real sword. Yeah! <laughs> Was it real, though? Yes. Yes. It's always a real sword, yeah. It's really happening, really there. It's real. Mmm, yes. Max the max. Wrestling. Very real. If you say it's fake, then that means Yugi did not battle for the fate of the world on a blimp. And I'm not willing to accept that. He didn't. Who would have saw that coming? It was an airship. <laughs> That's a good point. Maybe a Zeppelin. <laughs> Not a Zeppelin, no. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, <laughs> um, my week in Yu-Gi-Oh! I am still playing the same garbage deck with zero changes whatsoever. Um, I can't remember if we talked about it on the last podcast, and also I don't think the last, last podcast came out, so I feel free to say that I played this same deck at the 3v3 tournament at Strike One a couple weeks ago, um, and it performed just as well as Sword Soul on my team did. Um, by which I mean Josh and I had exactly the same results over the course of the day. <laughs> Made top four. Um, Luke was carrying hard with Drytron. Um, my deck just did the thing where sometimes it's like, oh, what's an engine? <laughs> and yeah. it just gives me all the side cards and none of the cards that actually do things. That's how Invoked works. You're just playing the 10 Invoked cards and then 30 hand traps, yeah? Effectively, yeah. Exactly. Like, there's some Mech Knights which can be interpreted to be a hand trap to some extent it's like haha you've played into my trap by playing two cards in columns <laughs> they, that, I, they, I, even like testing and like playing other games i just I still do different columns now like oh yeah mech knight has ir irrevocably ruined the game yeah because you used to be able to set up like nice little boards you'd have like your, your set monster yeah it PR, looks good two set, set, set two set either yeah. side um but well, actually that that um, particular thing plays around Mech Knights quite well, but it's a nice symmetrical design. Whereas, yeah, your T-set now, that's that's Mech Knight material every day of the week. You need to play Senate Switch, just in case you fuck up, then you can be like, oh shit, I need to, need to <laughs> Senate Switch <laughs> this out of the way. <laughs> Senate Switch buyout when? The day Link format got announced, remember? Yep. Surely everyone loaded them off by now. I still have a bunch sitting in my bulk. We need to hype the price of Senate Switch. Yeah, good switch. card. Mech Knight's going to be T zero. It's like, zero those, next it's like those tyrant cards when they had the normal pendulum stuff. Actually, no. Sorry to um, cut you off, but um, Senate Switch has been power crept. No, no, no. Can't you can't power creep Senate Switch? Oh, you can. There's a hand trap that does it. No, there's literally a queen on the on the picture. You can't power creep that. 
There's no. a hand trap that does the same thing, Ben. Does it have a picture of a queen on it? No. Exactly. Power crept. We move. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, we end up coming fourth at the 3v3. Hmm. Um, and I think there was like maybe five or six packs that we each got like three OTS, three um, Synchro Storm, which I was like, oh good, I'm going to pull nothing. Uh, pull the Baron. <laughs> So oh, like, so that was from that. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. I got like three packs of Synchro Storm and Paul Baron. I was like, yes. I just assume you bought another box again. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I didn't buy it. I've not bought very much of that set. Mm. Like maybe seven packs in total, and yeah. it's never been all at once. It's and just now the you Baron. won't buy it, it anymore. anymore. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> like, no need. yeah, I literally have no more need to buy any of that set. It's, uh, it still bugs me how much that card is and how little it's printed. Yeah. It really shits me up the wall. It's ugly. It's quite ugly. Yes. Uh, so, that covers our time in Yu-Gi-Oh! of late. Um, so, we have some news, uh, but I think first we'll discuss um, the year that has been, 2021. Mm. Yeah. Uh, COVID Part 2. Um, so, every year we do our top... Is it top five that we do? Top three? Top five. Top X. Yeah. Um, of cards, products, and decks. Uh, so, we poll people in our immediate group. Um, we probably could open that to the Discord, I only just thought of. Yeah, I was about to post in it the other day to ask, um, I was even going, like, going to give it to someone in exchange for teaching me how to play, um, PK, but... I just opened up to that specific person so that you could... Don't be using features on the podcast as bribes. Well, lucky my better judgement... And forgetting to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Your conscience is just yeah. a shit memory. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've been doing this since 2018. That's that's pretty good. Uh, former winners of this has been engaged for to- uh, card of the year, card of the year, card of 21. Uh, Nibiru was 2019. Link Ross was 2020. So, the oh, do, do we build up to it or do we start with the lead? No, no, you build up. I build, build up. up. Always build, build up. up. Uh, Baron. Your bestie is number five. Wow. Down at number five. There's a good card that could be number one. It's probably not. There's a, there's a, okay, well, Cross Out is number four. Okay. I don't 100% agree with that. Um, Cross Out is 2022. Look, I, knew, I didn't think Cross Out would be a popular choice, and Cross Out might be just there based on mine and like, one or two other people. Because I voted Cross Out as my number one card just because long time coming. I really like that card, but. I'm also open to everyone disagreeing with me about it, so... I like Cross Out. Yeah. I like the idea of Cross Out. Um, it took me, what, six months to actually receive the copies that I bought because Valid. of the stupid, stupid system that Konami have done with fucking waves. Uh, and not only that, now that I have received them, I lent them out to someone, so I... Brum, brum. Brum, 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 brum. There goes so I out, still yeah. haven't been able to use them. Um, so soon, soon I will know if it's a justified fourth place or not, but not now. Look, I, uh, I'm almost certain I'm going to receive my Tri Brigade after they get hit on the ban list. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it, you bought Tri Brigade? I brought Tri Brigade in a drunken state four months ago. <laughs> I love that. Wait, in the second wave or third wave? I don't know, I just bought it. Just and it hasn't been shipped. It got shipped like two days ago. Right, yeah. yeah. So, ooh, that, yeah, that does put it in a risky up. time frame. Sure. But you wouldn't have spent that much in it because it all would have been reprints, right? 60 bucks. Still six. Like, I already had the kits and I was like, this is quite cool. Kits on their own are nearly $10 each. Like, yeah. The... And then bear rums and stuff are like maybe five? I each? completely forgot Somewhere. that I had to buy that stuff. So, Oh, okay. So, I'm just yeah, fully you, resigned have... to the fact that I'm never going to play the deck. <laughs> I bought it, I'm not going to get I... played. See... Sorry to like cut this off a little no. bit, but I honestly suspect that they will dodge the ban list just because of how much they've been power crept. Like Tri Brigade Lurulu, sure. So you might see hit to Nurgle, but I don't think that the entire deck will get hit that much anymore. I think if anything, we'll see a hit to Fractal. Probably going to one. Yeah, Fractal is like, kind of annoying. Yeah. I only realised the other day that he can send himself from field and hand to start pitching things. Because someone attacked into something I had on board, I think, like, um, it was, like, Kaliga or something. Yeah. Beat over it. And I was like, ah, you've got it on the board and you've got nothing engraved to be able to do it. And there's, like, effect to send. I was like, oh, oh no. (laughs) Oh, boy. Uh, But, yeah, anyway, uh, so you went to get to play uh, Crossout. I spent copious amounts of money to lend it to someone else. Um, 
What do we have at number three? Number three is up here because of light trolling, but I accepted it. We can debate. Alternate art, Golden Lord. <laughs> oh, sassy Golden Everybody Lord. Everybody JoJo's pose, please. <laughs> Uh, and that's the thing, I, obviously I let this vote through because of my affinity for the man with the boots. <laughs> I know who voted for it. it wasn't and me. I'm not surprised, but I am disappointed. Who? Seb would have voted yeah. for it. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I would have voted for it if I remembered it. A, a couple of people, like, yeah, so like, I had it like low as like, a joke. Uh, a couple, like someone else had it low as a joke and yeah Seb, it's see, Seb's number one card see, of the year. jokes like this is how Trump got into power you <laughs> can't make these jokes it is a good looking card though and accessible so what do you do I'd rather that than last year's gold oh yeah yeah I want to trade my last year's golds for new this year's for golds gold. yeah I want to Jojo's pose with my, with my uh, golden lords uh, number two Pot of Prosperity good card i don't think that was on my list and it probably should have been uh yeah it's i think it was my number two mm. verifying yes oh i forgot <gasps> that um i forgot that shout out but we'll get back to that um yeah pot of prosperity i kind of wish i have it now i thought i'd get away with not having it yeah it's but the more... up in more and more lists yeah the more the more time goes on the more i'm like push out this guy it depends a lot on what your deck is trying to do if it is kind of just like a bunch of combo pieces like prosp is good because you just get the other piece that you need what i've found is that the decks that i generally play prefer tactics so that you get hand trapped and then you're like okay well from here i can steal your monster and continue to do my combo um or i can rip a card from your hands so that i can continue my combo with the pieces i have you're giggling over there what's going on you are giggling no. <laughs> uh, what will we say? We'll give a, a special shout out to uh, Diviner, Bird Call, and Outstanding Dog Mary. All, uh, I was hoping it was going to be number one. Yeah. What have you been doing behind the scenes, Ben? Have you been trying to collect votes for Outstanding Dog Mary? Yes. Oh, an Incredible Ecclesia, which probably should be higher, but send, she's also another shout out. Send all your Outstanding Dog Marys to Good Games Wollongong, please. Yeah. Um,. That's all right. And number one, I guess you bo all both now know, DPA. Yes. I had DPA recently low on my list. Very good card. It has turned into the Nightmare Mermaid of the format. It, It's good, but I don't feel like we're going to look back at it like engaged, right? No. Well, you say that, but... Or Linkross. <laughs> well, I feel like it's similar to Linkross in the sense that it's a card that has immediately needed addressing. Mm. So, like, with us, as soon as it came out, like, I think it was only maybe six months that we had it, right? Link Ross? Yeah. It did also facilitate, like, eight FTKs. Yes. Like, by itself. It also turned small synchro decks into big boards. Yeah. Like, card was completely busted. Yeah, and the fact that people said it could stay... Card, people retarded. wanted Martial Metal Marcher banned to keep Link Ross around. <laughs> Remember that? I thought it was the likely hit if they didn't address Link Cross, but then they're like, no, no, this card is actually fucked. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, I feel like it's a card that needs immediate addressing just because it is cropping up in every single deck. And if Konami is a, a place of like, oh, we want there to be versatility and difference in the top decks, then that's generally their first port of call is like these cards that crop up in every deck just end up getting hit. I so, just want Link Cross back so I can no, have ben. consistent gem that FTK. <laughs> no, Ben. What about you? No. Did they hit Fusion Destiny? Yeah, they... Um, yeah. I think they banned Fusion Destiny, didn't yeah. they? That's a... That's I think a they... I don't know. I think they banned oh, it. Oh, and wait. What do they do with Verte, then? Verte's banned. Verte was already banned. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so they were just playing... They think they just put Fusion Love Destiny to, to one. No, no. Verte's at one. Dragoon is banned. Dragoon. Oh yeah, Dragoon's definitely rocked on. Dragoon's yeah. banned. So, maybe they... I'm, I'm certain they banned the spell. Oh, who knows? Well, if only the there was a way to find out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll get back to this next week. Accessible resource that we can find out. Yeah. So yeah, GP joins our, uh, our esteemed first place decks. I think it was too new and too late in the year for it to be part of the year. It should have been Outstanding Dog Mary. My number one. For one, it's Mary. It's Mary. It isn't. It's Marin and Mary. 
Fuck, I said it wrong. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so. I fucked my own joke. <laughs> best deck. Our previous winners of this being Sky Striker. Sky Striker. Uh, whoa. Infernoble, somehow. Oh, no, that's not right. That's not right. And Emancipator. I was going to say, we're just trying to do Infernoble because we all would put it like three or four and then all going to be like one. No, actually, no. I, d- I think he would have had the foresight to be like, no, nah, four's okay. Because he's like, if people realize it's actually a really good deck, they'll want to hit more. And then it got hit more. <laughs> yeah, then an Ad Emancipator. And then this, yeah, our top, uh, top six contenders, but tied for fifth is uh, Virtual World. Yep. And Dragon. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably put them similar levels. Yeah, um, obviously they'll mean they were more start of the year, right? Yeah, they were very early on. So like if, I think Drytron was in like the early set and Virtual World. Um, a twenty twenty one list kind of do seem a bit biased towards later the yeah, later in the year. I know we had like it was a year or two ago. There was a bit of a hey, you totally forgot that this deck was busted for the first three months. Come on. A lot of the times that stuff like just gets ignored though because we normally have our YCS yeah. and then all that stuff gets addressed like two weeks later yeah. and that's like the first month more. yeah so I feel like our minds are just in a, a state where like early decks of the year just get wiped Wait. after like March well last year's first three months were we had our ban- we had our YCS start of 2020 the really really good one everything got banned like the next day mm-hmm. then we had two months of nothing until COVID started because like that two months was just like I am playing Invoke Shadol, and Meltdown means that you can't activate stuff. <laughs> yes. Um, because what were the decks then? It was, like, just after the ban list, it was, like, Ad Emancipator and Synchro Old Lich that were topping, like, yes. in yeah. terms of, like, yeah. relevant decks. Everyone was like, Synchro Old Lich is the best deck. And then once people got to physically play stuff, they were like, fucking Ad Emancipator oh, is probably... They forgot Spiral! <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, yeah, Spiral yeah, that's that. that deck. I will forget that deck forever. It was forever. inconsistent as fuck. Like, No. That's fair enough. I never would say that, that deck was good in that format because it was like spirals broken, but I have to resolve my magician souls for two perfectly at the right time, and I then also require this to not get hit and that to not get hit. And by the way, if all those things resolve, I've done the Appaloosa first. So still picked up a bunch of um, YCS wins. Otherwise, there's no, yeah. there's not many. Y- sh- there's like two, and one of them was the one one by invoked should all when they were like, if I have a meltdown up, you can activate things on your turn. It was the dumbest fucking ruling. Number four was Prank Kids. Um, look. How? They're good. They, they were just good. got hit on the ban list. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but, like, I don't think that they were, like, oh, ever... Oh, without that hit, they're pretty They're pretty damn good. I suppose. Even with I don't know. they're still playable. Oh, yeah. they're still playable, sure. Like, I just, yeah. Decks are very In good. my head, they didn't seem like a top five deck. You don't hit a deck if it's not a top five deck. Hmm. Yeah, yeah you, can't, you can't win this. <laughs> <laughs> not with us here. That's Number right. three. Uh, I'm not sure if I agree with this. Flunderweez. No. Prank Kid is significantly better than Flunderweez. <laughs> I'm not even sure if Flunderweez should be on here, and I love the deck. Yeah. I don't think... It's the other three decks below that are better than Flunderweez. It, I think In it's it, current iteration. It picked up a few random votes, and then there was one big player in there. Unky Drew, we miss you. He won tonight, actually, with Flundries. Oh, maybe they're great. Yeah. <laughs> 2022 de- best deck. <laughs> We're all here watching New Japan. It doesn't count. This is true. Uh, second place. Uh, I'll see if you debate this. Uh, Tribal Grade Lyric Lust. Specifically together? Okay. That's the thing. So, without it, you're, you were the only person who voted for Tribal Grade by themselves. Tribal Game by itself is clearly the best deck this year. Like, you can't argue with that. Everyone else had them combined. On its own, that deck is the best deck this year. See, I started, like, and they're like, I'm definitely on the podcast this year being, like, negative on it. But that was more towards the start of this year, but as it went on... And because the Lyric Lost version only comes out when the Synchro Storm shit. Mm. Like, the Lyric Lost version is a better deck... Yeah. But the best deck of the year is Tribal Game. By itself. I mean, either way, it picks up second place. Yeah. And first place, Sword Soul. No. I, no. Think it's, I think it's way too early for Sword Soul. I voted this a little high because I just like I just think they're sick and they're nice and cool. I didn't even put it in my three votes. 
15. My three votes were Tri Brigade, Dry Troll, and Prank Kids. Yeah. Um, you mean, I mean, we both had. Like, oh, wow. I I thought I had Prank Kids at one. No, I had Sword Soul at one. It's your fault. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, no one, but also, no one specified the builds on this. I mean, I guess ten, the 10 year build is the. It's far more heavily played here in the TCG than it was in the OCG. The OCG seemed to be doing um, DPE instead of 10 year as well yeah. as like the 10 year variant. The thing I like about the DPE though as well is that it recycles your Ecclesia when your uh, DPE dies. Yeah. Um, so getting a free resource back to hand that summons a piece from deck every turn seems pretty pop. Yeah. It's definitely one of the weirder top deck lists we had and it's just a, it was just a weird state for regionals and online tournaments this year. What won the online YCS? Yes. Tribrigad. Yeah, that was Tribrigad. I think it was a Tri versus Tri Zoo final. Uh, tri won the European. Uh, Prankids won the North America. Yeah. Again. An old mate over here hates Prankids. Yeah, Prankids not a top five deck this year. Won a YCS. Not I don't know. A, not a I top five deck Maybe this year. Maybe it's just my. My experience with the deck is that I didn't have too many problems versing it. Maybe I just opened Polk. Maybe. Maybe. It's because he's playing Window. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he spent the whole year being like activating a dear servant. Window. Boss. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't um, yeah, no remember too many. No. <laughs> it was like invoked dot deck or Ignista, and that was pretty much it. You got so much value out of your case of rice. <laughs> So much value. If you got a dollar every time you played any card you pulled out of Rise of the Duelist, you've made your money back tenfold. <laughs> oh, yeah. On to da, 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 the products. Um, I won't even recap the old products, because whatever. Um, old product shit. So there's a... Buy singles. Uh, the fifth, uh, <laughs> our number, number five. Cyber Style Structure Deck. We all wanted those imperms, even especially. Even yeah, I think that's pretty much the only reason that I put it on my list. Is I just like did not give two shits about him. <laughs> well, if you already had them, it was great. But for the people that were like, eh, "Why did we get a reprint?" Um, it was Jake is not directing that at anyone watching this podcast. He knows that everyone watching this podcast is incredibly intelligent. We may continue. No, I know that most people <laughs> that about, are watching this podcast. What about the people that forgot that they owned imperms? <laughs> 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 I forgot about this. This man had... I think they were secret as well, weren't they? No, they were the golds. Golds. Had gold ones, bought the structure decks to get the secret. And I came back to the store, I'm like, hey, Jake, I finally own imperms. How cool is this? I'm, I'm stopped being a povero cunt. And then... <laughs> and then Lockham's like, didn't you buy mine? <laughs> oh, uh, fourth place. Uh, I forget how to say this. Uh, our brother's a legend. Yeah. Um, I had a higher. Decent reprints that had some chase cards in it that were like not super needed but cool to get. Yeah, it was just definitely cool. Of it, except if you wanted droplets. <laughs> Sucked in if you wanted droplets. <laughs> My mentality behind it was it was a very good reprint set that had pretty much like a lot of good reprints and it had a very good budget deck in there in, in Krogan control. Huh. Yeah, yeah. The fishy things. And then also, it had the, like a really good chase card, DP, not DP, the other one. Dragoon Starlight. Same card. And the Astral Levier. It is the same card. Men speak to fact. Poor Astral Levier. Actually, what is, um, what has I Dragoon come down to? Uh, I saw uh, it at like 750 AU. 750? Yeah, okay, yeah. It's, that's not, it hasn't crashed as much as I thought it would. No, but from this point on, it's generally the point where they get more and more expensive. There's less and less of the sets available. Like, Good Games is already out of it, and we only saw the Astral Text in any of our boxes. Yeah. Uh, third is the gold set of El Dorado. Yeah. The cards... Like, in terms of value, you weren't getting much value out of it unless you pulled access code of Verte. But the reprint alt arts looked really nice. I think the only reason I didn't rate the set was because I didn't need anything from the set. Yeah, same. I didn't need anything from it either. I think I... Like, the only cards that I wanted from it were the Black Rose Dragon alt, alt art, because that looks sick, and the Nightmare Unicorn alt art. But again, I wasn't chasing them. It was like, if I get them, cool. If I don't, I don't. I mean, I've been asking the chat for random cards from this set for the last three months, so... 
<laughs> dibsing and then going, did anyone pull this? Did anyone pull this? Someone give me it. No one pulled it because no one bought it. Like, a, a lot of it's still sitting at the store. Yeah. Like, Jade got to a point where he's like, I'm going to open, like, three boxes and people can buy single packs for, like, 12 bucks. Mm, Ten, then we'll talk. Nothing's think... ever cheap enough for you, Brad. <laughs> and number two, the, um, the ten of shit fuckery. I Am I always swear on this channel? Mm, it's your channel. We have before. We've dropped we've dropped worse words than shit. Um, I don't think I had this on my list just because of how much the cross out shenanigans pissed me off. Yeah, I don't think I rated this either just because it it wasn't it didn't have that key of reprints of the mega pack stuff and left a few weird things out. Yeah, it didn't reprint kit. Yeah. Um, the well, kit didn't come out this year. That, that last year, kit came out this year. Yeah, but if it's coming out mid twenty twenty one, no, that doesn't happen anymore. They don't do the February set. Oh, so it doesn't get reprinted for a year and a half after it's relevant. Yeah, that's, that's why I always retarded. buy the money card in the February set now. Yeah. It was retarded. Lightning Storm last year. I bought it. Uh, this year it was Pot of Frost. I bought it. Yeah, because you have a year and a half for it to reprint. At earliest, it'll get reprinted in March set next year. Didn't happen with Lightning Storm. Did I miss a Lightning Storm reprint? Yes, Lightning Storm reprint happened in like our May set. Oh yes, of course. With yeah, the, with the snakes. Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't in that one. It was in King's yeah, Court, was, wasn't it? Wasn't King's Court the snakes? Oh no. no, that was yeah. Lightning. King's okay. Court was the yeah. Arcana Knights. Yeah, I thought the snakes were in those. No, snakes no were in that there. was yeah. Ancient Guardians. That was Ancient it was. Snake. It was King Snakes. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. And the best we, product of the <laughs> year. Of the year of it, like, you know, take a punt. Um, I had it. Uh, Burst of Destiny. Yeah, yeah. That was good set. One. Great set. Got me back in the game. So Very good has set. to be a great set. Yeah, we had two meta decks coming out of it. A big meta staple in DPE. Um, Such a good case to buy. Yeah, that's right. You bought a case. It's Early on, case. you would have made decent coin on the excess. Actually, no, you wouldn't I, have had any excess because you kept Sword Soul as well, didn't you? I kept Sword Soul, but I had three DPE to sell. So I pulled four. Nice. I still think Eclairs users and stuff should be higher. In value. That will get higher the closer we get to the structure deck release. Yeah, it's, it was high. It, sh it shouldn't it's be this down low, the like, and it will go up high again. Can't wait for you to normal summon a different spellcaster. <laughs> I won't need to. It'll be off turn. I'll special summon it. <laughs> so that means you can still normal summon the other one. Yeah. Whatever his name is. You normal summon a Luba. I'll, try, I'll take your word for it. I don't even have to normal summon him either. I can special it the, the deck. spell. <laughs> yeah. Is that one's even in the deck list? Yeah. I saw a weird Al Basil. Something's not in that. It's Nadir Servant's not in there. Nadir's yeah. not in there. Nor was it ever going to be. Didn't it get banned? It searches Albaz, but locks you out of summoning. Yes. If only there was a card that got you to an Albaz fusion better. Oh, wait called brand of fusion and it's broken nah, it's fine. <laughs> that card is legitimately he's, fucked he's okay the fact that you can get to dragoon off one card and not be restricted on your future summonings other than fusion that is, is done retarded that is done i'm looking so forward to it <laughs> and that is all um let us know in the comments or in our discord uh, what you thought the best card product or deck of the year was um, out of all that product I only bought Burst of Destiny I bought none of the rest of it look valid I bought most of the rest of it's gone I bought two of the tens and one of them was because it was a present so you bought one ten I bought I bought I mean, I physically bought two okay <laughs> happy birthday to me <laughs> one of them was from JB Hi-Fi and I just bought it because yeah actually I'll pull um, you, well, yeah. yeah I only bought it because I'm like huh it's you and JB Hi-Fi woo <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so that uh, does for our recap of 2021. Uh, now, looking into 2022, yeah. we have some new cards being announced in Dimension Force in the Th Therion? Therion? Thetans. What? There's definitely an R in there. No, 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 it's pronounced Thetans. You use a Thetan meter. You are lying. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to see if anyone Your eyes become anything. far too still when you're lying, I've figured out. Um, people's eyes move a little bit. Like, even when you're looking in one place, they move a little bit. But his, like... I got laser focus. Yeah. 
I'm trying like, to convince I can't, someone something. I can't break focus, otherwise they'll know. <laughs> but in actual fact, that's when you know. Um, so, we start with Theronius Bulls Ean. Uh, fire Warrior Effect, level 7, 2100 attack, 1600 defense. Um, you can only use the first and second effects once per turn. Um, the first effects are all going to be the same, so I'm just going to read out the first one okay. pretty much. So you can target one Therion's monster or, in this case, a warrior. They all do for the type that they are. Okay. And, like, the name of the archetype. Uh, special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, equip that target to this card um, from the graveyard. You can target one Theonius monster you control, and a card your opponent controls, destroy it. And then a Theonius monster equipped with this card gains 700 attack and the second effect of this card's name. Hmm. Uh, then we have Theronius Leaper Fam, uh, which is a water aqua with 1400 and 2500 defense. Mm, thick. Uh, mm, big booty. Yeah, it's um, a slim booty, actually. <clears throat> mm, depends where you say the booty starts and ends, really. True. Uh, so, yeah, same first effect Aqua, Theonis, blah, blah, blah. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can target one Theonis card in your spell and trap zone and one card your opponent controls and return them to the hand. Uh, and then. Oh, we'll say the third effect's the same as well. Gain seven and attract and gain the second effect. Okay. So we can breeze through. Hmm. Uh, next one is Theonis Duke Jewel. Uh, light, psychic, 28100 attack, 2800 defense. Uh, second effect is while you control an equip card, the only as monsters you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming this is a spell on it equips. Yeah, they've got. Um, well, they equip themselves. Their effect is to target a Theonis or a type of the same as them and equip them from grave. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was thinking, how do you cheat this? It's the grave part. Because I was like. Yeah. Uh, then we have Theonis Lily Boria. Um, her second effect is you can send one card from your hand or field to the graveyard, add a Theonius spell or trap from your deck to your hand. Uh, and then Theonius King Regulus. Uh, when your opponent oh. activates a card or, oh, sorry, uh, Earth Machine, um, and the last one was a Wind Plant. Uh, so Earth Machine, 2800 attack, 1600 defense. What level is it? Uh, level 8. Is there a way to search that? Yeah, or does someone yes. else think uh, The Machinas, I think, can search oh. Earth Machines. Okay. Oh yeah, shit. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. There's because of the way that these interact, they are somewhat splashable with other archetypes. Okay. Um, and they kind of need to be because they're all high level monsters and need stuff in bin to do stuff. Valid. Uh, when your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you can send one Theonos monster card from your hand or field to the graveyard, negate that effect, uh, and then the same re equipy thing. Uh, then we get into the spells. Uh, so Theonius Ring, the Colosseum Sorcerer, is their field spell. When this card resolves, you can add one Theonius monster from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, if a monster or monsters you control would be destroyed by battle, you can send one Theonius card or one Perpetual Engine Agrio system from your deck to your okay. graveyard instead. Cool. Uh, once per battle, when a monster is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can... Oh, sorry, once per turn, not once per battle. Um, but, yeah, one, you can target one Theonis monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Uh, so that includes your opponent's monsters as well, so if you kill one of their monsters, you can add shit back. Okay. Um, and then we have Perpetual Engine Argyo System. Uh, normal spell, uh, you can only use one of each of their... Oh, sorry, one of either of the effects once per turn. Yep. So you can't do first and second, you have to choose. Uh, first is send a Theonius card from your deck to your graveyard. And if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one Theonius card in your graveyard, add this card or that card to your hand, <laughs> and if you do, place the other on the bottom of the deck. Oh. Okay. Uh, then we have Theonis I thought that was going to be a bit sillier than... What, just adding both back? That would be fucking busted. That would explain why it would have a, a OPT restriction. Yeah. Because then you wouldn't be able to like, add it back, do it again. You just stack with the rest of them on the bottom of your deck. Yeah. But being able to choose between adding back the spell or the monster is kind of cool. It's decent. Um, and like it becomes more relevant when you look into a couple of the, of the cards. Uh, so Theonis' Charge. Uh, send one Theonis card or Perpetual Engine Agio system from your hand or face-up spell and trap zone to the graveyard. Draw two cards. Okay. Wait, was that a spell or a trap? Spell. spell. Okay. So it's an orchestrated return? Is that the kind of thing you Just 
JB Mad trap vibes, like every I mean, archetype is like, yeah. here's your draw power trap. <laughs> no, uh, we start on the trap now. Uh, so when your opponent activates a monster effect while you control a Theonius monster, activate one of these effects, or if you have perpetual engine Argeo system in your graveyard, you can activate both in sequence. Negate that effect, banish that monster. Okay. Normal trap. And uh, Theonius' is stand up, and again, normal trap. Only activate the first and second effects of these once per turn, and only once. Uh, target a Theonius monster in your graveyard, special summon it, then if you do, equip one Theonius monster from your hand or graveyard to it. Uh, during the main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, the target one Theonius monster you control, and one in your graveyard, equip the target in the graveyard to the target you control. Did we ban the the, the Buster Union World? Carrier? Yeah, well, because we banned uh, Union Carrier, but oh, not. Buster World no, Buster banned. World came back. Yeah. Because Union Carrier got banned. So can't they just do this with that trap? No, because I'm pretty sure it says the Yonis. Yeah, oh, and one, one in your graveyard. Sorry, I thought it said and one card in your graveyard. Okay. I'm like, oh, oh God. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, here we go again. And the Buster World block. Also, none of these are dragons, thankfully. Because otherwise that would be broken. Chuck a dragon in your graveyard. Oh, Buster Log. <laughs> I suppose they probably thought about that. Yeah, so, yeah, going back, like I said, they've got a nice bit of synergy in that they can sort of react with other decks. Like, you've got Warriors, you've got Aquas, you've got Psychics, you've got Plants, and you've got uh, Earth Machines. So, it's it's bugging me that, mm -hmm. so the Rose, like the Borea looks like the Rose Whip. It yeah. does a bit, doesn't it? Um, and then Regulus is Regulus. So, I can't think of what the other cards are going to be from the 5 Ds era. Well, one of them is just a synchron, isn't it? That first one. That just looks like a synchron. Yeah. Not, not a, sorry, not a synchron. A, a speedroid. It does kind of look like a speedroid, but that wasn't from the first era, technically speaking. I guess. Or the um, second era, I should say, or well, five Ds. Yeah, it's just stood out to me of like, oh, those two are definitely this reminiscent one, of those artworks. This one kind of reminds me of a glad beast. I'm not sure why. Maybe the shield. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, looks like an interesting archetype. Yeah. Um, the interesting thing, to me at least, is in the field spell art, you can see Tribrigade Kit uh, pointing to the Vortex that takes it to the Colosseum. So while you've got Ecclesia, Iris, and Albads fighting off the, the, <laughs> the forces of darkness, she's just gone to watch some people fight in a ring, which I find really yeah. funny. You did post a meme about it in chat earlier today, and I was like... Harry did. Oh, I didn't post it. it I didn't Jake see. Jake immediately the responded. Yes, because as I've said in the Discord, I am a sucker for the law. I, I like oh. law. Law. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So it looks like an interesting archetype. Um, it'd be interesting to see what support it gets from here, because as I said, it is part of the Albaz law. Kind of. Let's make it searchable on India. <laughs> Why not? Keep Nadir around. Why not? Just give them another. The big fusion you can send just to add them in their face, <laughs> like every other archetype of this lore. Yeah, look, I would not be against that. I would absolutely be for a big fusy boy. Um, other than that, we also have uh, the new Ancient Warriors that are coming out in this uh, Dimension 4 set. Um, yeah. So we have Ancient Warriors Cruel Dong Zong, uh, level yeah, 6 Dark. Said dong. No, I did say Dong. <laughs> um, Level 6 Dark Beast Warrior, attack 24, defense 18. Uh, you can only use the effects of the first and third once per turn. If this card is normal special summoned, you can add a level 7 or higher Ancient Warrior monster or Ancient Warrior's spell or trap from your deck to your hand. Level 7 or higher? Yeah, level 7 or higher. They have one, well, they have like several that special summon themselves. Yeah, I like, think they're absolutely going second deck. Yeah, their Pancratops was a, is a level 7 or higher. Mm -hmm. And some of like it for free as long as it's. Starters are fours? The starters are fours, depending on what spells and traps you have, because I think some of the spells and traps, like if they get sent, they add in all that kind okay. of shit. So you can do stuff. Uh, why control a level 7 or higher ancient warrior monster? Your opponent must pay 400 life points to activate cards or effects. Uh, if a monster or monsters is sent to your opponent's graveyard, you can target one card in your opponent's graveyard, banish it, and if you do, draw one card. It's not bad. Uh, and then we have Ancient Warriors Saga, Defying the Warlord's Demands, uh, Continuous Spell. 
You only use the first and second effects once per turn. During your main phase, you can special summon one Ancient Warrior monster from your hand, and if you do, you take damage equal to its level times 100. You can send this face up card from your spell and trap zone to the graveyard, then target one Ancient Warrior monster on the field. Change its attribute, then if you activated this by targeting an opponent's monster, uh, you can take control of it. Remember earlier today when you were like, we need more of the Fire Fist stuff? What if this is just the rest of the Fire Fist? It stuff? is kind of Fire Fist like in that it's very dependent on spells and traps, it's all Beast Warriors. Oh, oh no. This is all your Fire Fist stuff. Yeah, this is Fire Fist 2.0. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not. Well, I don't, I don't care about Fire Fist that much. <laughs> made a point having, of it. Yeah, you counted day. out how many Fire Fists needed to be made up so that they would account for everything in the series or whatever it is. No context means like <laughs> You know what? <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, that's it for more re well actually it's not it for more recent support. There is a new jar card coming out, but it's fucking terrible, so I refuse yeah, to read it. Yeah, it seemed really bad. Uh, so we move on from that, and we talk about some recent tops in the OCG. Um, and basically, the branded archetype has sort of taken over a lot of the tops um, of one of the bigger tournaments that's sitting at biggest representation, at 18.8%. What, uh, was, what was the sample on this? Like, what was the, the sample size? great size. I don't think this thing will tell like me. Like, the sample date, it has it. Date or size? Uh, a good date. Uh, this is the 15th to the 26th of December. Okay, so it's just people being nice. Uh, Sorry? Because the ban list had happened, but it's not effective yet. So this is just people uh, being nice. Okay, so maybe we need to... It's something to keep in mind with the OCG list towards the end of their format, is a lot of people are just like nice people and stop playing the old decks. Right. Yeah, just, just to mess around with new stuff. And yeah, so they probably picked up that because it's pretty easy to pick up the structure decks and yeah. then go from there. Okay, well let me see if there's any more recent tops in the past couple of weeks. I think we'd be due an OCG report, but it might be late for New Year's. The um, at the end of the month, the the tenure, the sword like the brave tenure decks are running the um the black rose, um three star tuner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is kind of cool. Yeah. I love those bastards. <laughs> uh, so based on this last breakdown, because uh, I can't, I can't see if there's been an updated one. Second most represented was Brave Tenye at ten point nine, Eldritch at ten point nine, uh, so equaling uh, Sky Striker six point one. I think they would have just gotten their Secret Chani box as well, so they're probably yes. fucking yeah. around with their new support. Yeah. Uh, Tri Brigade at five point five, Lurunderies four point eight, Sword Soul four point eight, uh, Brave Virtual World. Fucking everyone's using this token. Bro. It's gonna get hit so hard. We've got hit already. Uh, when we get it though, it's gonna get hit so hard. Oh, we'll People see. are just gonna go fucking whack. Um, then we've got Salaman Grey 4.2, uh, Dry Twine 3.6, Spiral 3.0, Ignista 3.0, and 20% of Other. Classic Other. Always um, dominating. Classic format. Other. I don't like that they don't put anything there too. I like when they put like the question artwork. It's normally question, yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling questions. Are you feeling questions? Oh, absolutely. I'm always feeling oh, questions. Have we got questions? Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're going to play a bit of catch up. We're not going to hit them all at the same time, but we're going to go right back to uh, the last ignored one. Um, I don't think this one was lost in the edit. Should be fine. We'll find out soon. Lataxman on our Discord went, If Ghost Rares continued in main productions, what cards do you think would have been made Ghosts? I, for one, would would have thought Necroz or Trish would have been one. Well, Apparently so. your air conditioner has something to say about this. Uh, Necrozza Trish was in the in the that side set, so maybe it would have been uh, Gungnir. Because that was the one that yeah. was... Yeah, Gungnir was in that main also set. Fear. Was a... Wait, oh, Ghost yeah. Rares were still a thing at that point. Yeah. yeah Ghost Rares were in that set, so we moved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah wait, wasn't... Were... Wait, wasn't... <laughs> Ghost Rares were, were both in that ulties, set. But, yeah, they weren't made into ghosts. No, the Ghost Rare for that set was Malakuta. I don't even know what fucking card. Uh, Burning Abyss Ritual. Yeah. Yeah, as little as Sophia and Gunganir see play in those decks, that one sees even less. Yeah, that is not deserving of a ghost. I saw a bit of play in the OCG because I forgot to ban um, Jin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because it's a fiend as well, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's painful. <laughs> Imagine forgetting to ban a terrible floodgate. Um, God, ruined a format. So what? Let's give it another. Obviously, DPE. 
and the last one would have been yeah, DP would have been Ghost because yeah Cannon in the back. sets DP. basically all, it's most of the time the main art like the cover card it's yeah. typically well, the cover card history. was Burst of Destiny I don't think um, DP was the cover art for Burst of Destiny I think it was the Boral Ritual thing they've had a habit of oh, late of not doing the secrets they've done the ultras uh, yeah it has but I been thought, I thought, lately, I swear but... I saw his face on the on the product somewhere Probably on the box. It's on I the know. Box. Well, yeah, you're right. The, like the the top of the boxes. Yeah. I guess I just get right into the meat of it and ignore it. Oh, it's typical brag. Right, getting right into the meat. <laughs> I keep forgetting we can make um, yeah. sight gags now. So, yeah, sight gags on the podcast. Find the um, work. Yeah. For the audio listeners, you still got to listen. So to maybe DP gags. wouldn't have been. Um, I think it still would have been DPE. Well, how many ghosts were there in a main set? One. Just one. I... And they weren't that hard to pull. <laughs> it didn't seem that way, did it? No. From the like 500 packs I pulled of Secrets of Eternity, it was quite difficult to pull. From the one pack of Clash of Rebellion I opened, not difficult at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I usually end up with the Secret Rare from most of those ones, and then we'll just trade it for whatever it was worth at the time. I'm just... assuming you mean Ghost. Yeah. I would end up with the Ghost more than fucking Secrets half the time. That's what I found as well. But, yeah... Um, I also else. hated yeah. ghost rares, so like I would take any opportunity to get rid of them. Like I remember pulling the ghost um, skyline, mm. and I I wanted to trade that so bad for an ulti, and someone refused to give me the ulti because they liked the ulti more. I was like, <laughs> "Fuck you!" I still have those ultis if you want to trade me for a ghost. <laughs> I've got three now. I'm good. Okay. Also, I sold my ghost. Oh, sad times. I, I got good money for it. It's at the store. I think it's still there. Okay. What would have been one more cool ghost from a few years ago? Firewall um, Dragon. Dryden oh, probably. We got it in the end, didn't we? We, we got it in the end. Yeah. yeah. Um, Dryden uh, Ghost, yeah. What was in Bosch? What would have been the secret from. What would have been the ghost from that? What was the cover card of Bosch? Uh, it was Enlightenment Paladin. And I probably would have fucking made it that too. Yeah, it probably would have been Enlightenment Paladin. That was the first set of No Ghost. Ghost monkey board. <laughs> Ghost common. I probably would have been like pencil. Yeah. Yeah, true. Well, typically, pencil wasn't it typically an ultra rare that didn't come in secret? So yeah, it probably would have just been Enlightenment Paladin. Enlightenment Paladin was a um. It was an ultra. Was it? I thought it was a secret. Twin Twister. I thought Enlightenment Paladin was an ultra. Twin Twister would have been sick, but they wouldn't have done it. Yeah. I remember back in Cows. the days when those boxes were mapped. I managed to find a place that had an open box and an open box was like, yeah, just take whatever packs you want. And I was like, cool. Took the stack, missed on one of them, and hit a twin twister, and I was like, I'm not even mad. Yeah. <laughs> twin twister. I need one. I need it. Yeah. I was like, I'm not mad at all. Uh on to the next question from Rai Guy. What are some cards that you want to be good? Not archetypes, just like certain cards that you wish were usable. Like, I really wish Robin Goblin or Chain Disappearance were really usable, but they're definitely not. Nah, Robin Goblin is usable. Uh, you, won't be, you won't be winning when you have it. Goblin but archetype. But you can absolutely okay. use it. Um, I kind of wish the Blizzard saw play, if any of you all remember Blizzard. Mm. It's still, like, a recent card. It's Blizzard. quite recent. It can still come up. Yeah, but it just doesn't. And cool. it would, it could definitely have applications. Like for people that are worried about their boards being blown out by like lightning storms or um, feather dusters, like that's a perfect card. Like the problem is, I suppose in theory, like as opposed to just negating it, like they get the card back so they can just try. It to get negates next activation, turn. doesn't it? Negates effects. Okay. okay. So it negates the effect if it's a card that would leave the field, it goes back to their hand. Yeah. But they can't activate another card of that name for the rest of the turn. Okay. So it does, prov like, it does effectively negate that card for the turn. Yeah. They can't use it. You just need to make sure you win. But yeah, you need to be able to push back enough that you don't lose. Yeah. Uh, it costs nothing. Target. It doesn't cost you 4k. Off you go. It's great. Uh, well, I've been sitting around for Wobaku. Card never got as much respect as it deserved in main like main play. It was always bloody threatening raw. Yeah, I've never fully understood that. Like, I suppose it's like a case of like you'd prefer to stop the battle phase entirely in case people have got some like yeah. fuckery with like DD lady and shit like that. Dragon just... maids. That's why they knew they were coming. Oh, man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long since I've had Dragon Link and Dragon Maze didn't make anyone's votes either yeah cause it just it, 
doesn't feel like it's been like a deck that's like, oh no, Dragon Link. It's just been the same thing for fucking yeah. 17 billion years now. Kill it properly. Keep on trucking. Um, Wabaku. What else? Oh, Metabat. Metabat was cool. Excuse me? Yeah, it's a shit card. Because I was thinking, like, there's just so many of those old shit, like, normal monsters you can go, oh, I wish this had an effect and was cool because it's such a cool concept. Do you know what I thought would be a cool concept? It's not strictly speaking part of the question, but if they did, like, a whole set of, like, mystical ref panel cards... Oh, yeah. ...that didn't just, like, try and copy arbitrary effects where it's like, haha, you activated Pot of Creed, but now I get to drop two instead. Instead, it's like, if they activate a specific card, you get to take it. It's like White Hole... <laughs> Hmm? Like white hole or griffin wing. No, no, no. Like spell trap monster. So if they activate okay. a monster effect, you could take that yeah. monster effect. Okay. Sure. It'd be so, hilarious in the mirrors. Well, I mean, they are mirrors, aren't they? Ah, uh, my card is Prisman. Yes, Prisman archetype. <laughs> yes. What type is it? It's a fairy, isn't it? It's a rock. It's a level three light rock. See, you can. Unexpected die in Adam Emancipator. We've discussed this before about trying to make Prisman FTK. <laughs> <laughs> and then, obviously, Trent. Yes. I mean, Suda could come up. Shouldn't be able to die. With your... Oh, that's a card we probably could have discussed in recent years because it's actually relevant, is the um, Sylvan Link. Yeah, there's plenty of time. I'm it's sure good. I'm sure there'll be no news next week. Master Jewel, Master Jewel, Master Jewel, Master Jewel. Um, it comes out the 30th of February. Oh, damn, that's ages away. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be around for that date. No, I might miss it too. Mm. I have to get prepped. I'll let some other people know. Wait, so, yeah, what is winter for Konami? Summer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> August, you reckon? No, just whenever they release it, they'll just be like, no, we meant this one. Yeah. Well, in... A recent video where they sort of announced the main menu where i was like Ooh, main menu um they've said that they're releasing info every week for the next few weeks so i feel like they're building up to a release at least in the next couple of videos they're building up to a release date <laughs> no no like i reckon that by the end of the time that they've done those videos they will have a release Wait, the next week did they say winter 2022 because mm. it could be December. Mm. But surely they're talking about European winter, which is now. Yeah, but, yeah, but there's still year. another month at the end of the year of winter. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not waiting a year. What? No, 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 no. Let's play Dueling Book. I want to. Cease and desist. I'm, I'm, I'm so done with them. I just. I wonder if they actually do that this time around. I think they will. I think they're going to cease and desist everything the moment that simulator hits market. So what's Stevie Grunt going to do? TV Grinder's gonna be Must Master be Duel grind. Dark Grinder. If you can even save replays. You can, but only you can view them. Hey. He's gonna have great. to screen cap all of them. Yep. And then have them play back in terrible quality. <laughs> I've, I've seen Josh's videos. <laughs> mm. It just sounds like you said that out of club section. It's just like, no. I've seen Josh's videos. Josh works for DB Grinder. I don't know if I'm still in shot. And Google. And Google. I don't think he works for Google anymore. He works for his parents, which I don't know what that means. Mm. Anywho. His parents are Google. His mother is, is Martha C. Doing? Google. I'm very sorry for anyone else at home who has a... Uh, Google, Google device. Yeah, Google devices, because... We just triggered them all. Oh, right, because it... Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that's kind of depressing. Isn't that right, Alexa? Purchase all Yu-Gi-Oh manga. <laughs> Confirm purchase. <laughs> we can finish on a Quora question that's just come up based on that recommendation. I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Google. What happened to Yahoo questions? <sighs> I miss them. I get the weirdest push notifications from Quora as well. Don't go on Quora. The Yu-Gi-Oh advice is terrible. And somehow, like, it's... It's not even terrible in a good way either. It's not even entertaining. It's super cringe. I miss it. Yeah, it's just bad. It's trying its hardest, but it's just sad. It Even goes, it goes, uh, Yugimon's fucking whatever the page we'll use, Zodiac. It goes Zodiac. Then it goes Korra. 
And then it goes classic Yu-Gi-Oh fans forever. That's the tier list of Yu-Gi-Oh advice. Oh my dear lord. The screenshots I get from that page are so fucking cringe. Uh, Who runs that page and why aren't we running it? We do run it. Yeah. Yes, we are the shadow government. We are the shadow government of alt accounts that runs classic Yu-Gi-Oh fans oh. forever. I guess I've been kicked. Is the one with this? Is the one with the red eyes on the on the front? Ah. Uh, I, I thought just I was in it. this. I don't know. They heard that you run a contemporary podcast and they're like, we can't be having news in here. No. They heard that I was just live I'm reacting drama <laughs> posts. The Yu Gi Oh drama group is so good. <laughs> Yu Gi Oh drama on Facebook. PM me there. I love it. Jesus. Um, another segment, I don't know whether we'll continue it now, um, was the what the deck doing? The thing oh. that Lachlan started. <sighs> Um, do you want to participate in what the deck doing next week? I have no idea what this is. Uh, Basically, like, we were supposed to open up to the Discord, but because the podcast weren't getting published, no one knew about it, so it was hard to actually fund for content. Valid. Um, but the weeks before, we'd given each other a deck or an archetype that we had to then research and, like, basically give a synopsis of what the deck does, what its best card is, and what it would need to be better. I can answer all three of those questions for any deck in the format. Oh, this is an index in the format. <laughs> uh, we've done Iron Chain. We did we did Weather Painters before the support came out. Ninjas. Valid. We did Ninjas. We did... Um, if anyone watched the Weather What's that Painter... stupid flip deck called again? The one that Seb uh, wanted to know about? Uh, uh, tri triangle. Tindangle. Tindangle. Well, I think it was Triangle. Because I'm fairly sure there's a lot of triangles in like the pitches, so uh, it's designed to trick you. Yeah. It's all about maths, that's why. Just call it triangles. Tingdangles. He likes the way it sounds. Tingle. Tingle lingle. <coughs> Fruit tingles. Remember those? Yeah. I remember those. It's, um, actually, it will be a couple of years since I've had them. Let's see, he's thinking about the confectionery, you're thinking about the drink. No, I think we're both thinking about the confectionery. I'm thinking about the confectionery. Because well, the drink's named it. after the confectionery. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have those in other countries? Let us know. Yeah. And um, lifesavers. I was going to say lifesavers as well, but then I was like, I'm just going to let it go. <laughs> yeah, th that's always been one thing I've been curious about is how many of our uh, confectioneries actually go global or vice versa. Like it, how many we actually share with other countries. If the international Tim Tam shortage is anything to go by, not much. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I like Tim Tams, but I don't go out of my way to buy them. No. Brit does. I also don't do that thing where people make straws out of them for their coffee. That just seems retarded. Ugh. I saw they sell them now with like the whole pre done in the middle. Like, what I don't want someone that's, stabbing that's a fucking pencil or fucking something through my fucking Tim Tam. That seems like less, like, that seems like an excuse to take chocolate out of the. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, if they don't charge me, like. 93 cents less for that packet because of my missing chocolate. What if they sold, like, remember, like, fads? Yeah, we're yeah. now just gone full food talk now. Those, like, fad Red stick things, things that were literally just cigarettes. For oh, yes. Yeah. That's what they could just do with the in insides of the Tim Tim. <laughs> just take out oh, the inside of the Tim sticks. Tim and then you get a little Tim Tim stick. Hey, that's a fucked up lolly to give kids. Yeah, just selling cigarettes to like kids. Cigarettes. However, it gets worse because they were fatter ones called Big Boss and yeah, and those cigars. Was cigars. <laughs> yeah. And they literally had red tip like it was just a red must stick at the end of the day. Yeah. But it had a red tip on the end to make it look like you were smoking a cigar. That is fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were about to say the original name for them. Of those, yes. <laughs> One of those letters was different. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. And on that note, we end. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening and watching. Um, so feel free to jump into our Discord. There's a link down the bottom. Um, feel free to write your questions. As Bragg said, we won't be able to answer all of them at the once, but we'll definitely catch up and answer a couple every week. Um, other than that, thank you, Bragg. Thank you, Ben. And thank you all. Good night. Have a good one.